um, uh, for the one who doesn't know, uh, is a hardware that is used to reset the processor if the system hangs. So it is like when there is a f uh, software running in the system and if the software hangs, uh, the washer timer will help you to uh, reset the complete system. And it consists of a counter which counts down to zero based on the value loaded in its load, load register. And here in TWAS, it is 32 bit counter. And uh, you can see a diagram here where uh, the processor tries to restart the washer timer every time. And if this uh, um, uh, software running in the system gets hanged, the washer timer uh, meets a timeout and then it resets the system. This is how it works. And uh, with the help of this, we are going to uh, uh, use this washer timer to generate a delay. And uh, that's what I'm going to show you. Um, here we have uh, CCS Code Composer Studio. And um, there are certain uh, library files, uh, header files included. And we are using uh, a, a Divaware library. And to set up Divaware and CCS, you can see my uh, previous video where I have uh, explained how to uh, install CCS and then uh, uh, where to get CCS and install CCS and how to set up Divaware and create a simple project. You can create project based on this. And then I have created a project uh, and uh, these are the header files to be included and you can see we have watchdog.h here and um, here first uh, we will have to set up the clock, system clock and uh, we are going to just uh, uh, toggle an LED uh, with a delay. So we are going to see, we, can, we are going to use the on onboard uh, LED on the launch pad, TWRC launch pad and so that we are going to use this uh, GPU uh, F port F. So we are going to enable the, uh, enable the port and uh, set the direction for the, uh, pin 1, pin 2 and pin 3 and then um, we are enabling washdrop timer then you can see um, this particular function helps in uh, making the washdrop, we have washdrop 0 and washdrop 1 and it makes the, uh, it wait for the washdrop 0 module to be ready and then um, if the uh, uh, washdrop registers uh, can be locked so we'll have to check whether it is locked if so we'll have to unlock them uh, so that we can use it and then we are going to load a value here you can see we are using some value that is a 32 bit it is a 32 bit counter so we are going to load 32 bit uh, value and um, I have uh, put this value just to uh, check out what's the timing and I got approximately 500 milliseconds and um, uh, you can uh, modify this value to see what is the uh, variation in the time and then uh, enabling the reset for wash drop and then finally enabling interrupt uh, for the wash drop timer so we have the interrupt uh, interrupt dot h so we are going to en enable interrupt for, uh, for wash drop and uh, we are going to uh, see what is going to happen in interrupt service routine and then um, uh, we finally enable wash drop um, timer so what happens is here when when we meet up with the, um, a, the this is a, a service routine for washdrop time where uh, we have uh, uh, we are clearing the interrupt flag and then um, uh, we are just uh, trying to toggle the led status that is what the code here and um, if we are going to use this uh, interrupt uh, function we will have to go um, click on um, ccs startup when you create the project you will get this file and here you can see I have had added this uh, pro function prototype declaration and then um, we have uh, interrupt handlers here where uh, we will have to paste the uh, function here that is whenever you use interrupt any interrupt uh, we will have to um, place the in uh, interrupt functions name here accordingly so we have this as uh, watch dog uh, in, in handler so that's what is uh, pasted here so then we can uh, save this file and then come out and uh, only then you can um, get into this routine, uh, service routine and see the output and uh, now um, let me build the project now the project is properly built and uh, you can see we have uh, washdog test.out file created and then we can click on run debug and uh, whenever you do this you see to that your hardware is connected and then you'll have to click resume button 
and uh, you can see uh, this is the output which is displayed here and we can see the LED is flashing so we are using the uh, washer timer to generate the delay and it is uh, shown uh, as output with the help of an LED and uh, we can try changing these values and um, like we can change this value to 7 so you can see what is the output uh, changes and what are the delay changes and uh, this is how you are going to use washer timer for um, generating a delay and uh, we don't actually like how we use timers we can uh, similarly use washer timer to generate delay and uh, the, uh, by understanding this we can also uh, understand how to use washer timer and then uh, we have to get out uh, of uh, get out of the like, give a reset signal to the processor when there is um, a software hand and um, uh, the Osher no, timer module is a separate um, module uh, in the controller to say if you have a microcontroller um, like other modules washer timer is a separate module which is all, uh, all uh, in a single chip uh, along with the processor and um, that is the reason it uh, runs separately and um, it, like other timer modules or other modules it runs separately and uh, it is able to generate and give reset uh, signal to the processor when there is an interrupt generator so interrupt is generated when the counter uh, uh, when this is the value uh, loaded to the load register and uh, it counts down and then when timeout occurs interrupt is generated and uh, we give an interrupt service routine here to do some job task so this what i wanted to explain in this video we'll meet in another video thank you thanks a lot